Hey guys, Charlani here. Today we are baking up some amazing chocolate chip cookies. I'm adding macadamia nuts to this recipe, but last time I made this dough, we added pecans, or pecans, however you prefer to say it, and oh my goodness, they were epic too. Listen, sometimes we're low fat, sometimes we're low carb, sometimes we're more protein, but sometimes we are all the food because we are foodies in this house and we love to eat. I definitely believe in all the time balance, but listen, you gotta do what works for you. And today we are baking up chocolate chip cookies. This is not exactly the healthy version. These are not healthy-ish at all. These are all the sugar, all the butter, and all the yummy goodness. But these, every once in a while, absolutely okay. I find a lot of happiness in good food and I've been working on this base dough recipe for a while now and in my opinion, it is perfection. I'm gonna share how to make both crispy cookies and soft and chewy cookies with this one recipe. So down below in the description box, I'll share the exact recipe or link so that you can make them at home too. I think the secret is extra vanilla using cane sugar and pink sea salt and then salted butter. So I've played around with different measurements and what you'll find in the recipe is my best combo. They are the perfect blend of sweet and salty. So I'm using my homemade vanilla extract here. Um, I have this recipe in my Instagram reels. I'm gonna try to link it below, but if not, my Instagram is charlani underscore every day. And I'm in my stories all the time, and I love connecting my DMs there. It's just a little bit easier than the comment section in videos. But I share all the behind the scenes, video updates, what's coming up, what we're working on, and I love putting up polls and getting real-time opinions on projects that I'm working on. So if you're not following me over there as well, I'd love for you to join that community too. don't want to over mix your sugars but I whip them up enough so that they are fluffy but sometimes if you over whip the butter and the sugars are gonna separate so just be mindful you don't want to overdo it I'm looking for a creamy even consistency and then always make sure that you're scraping your bowl as you go at least with my blender the blade itself doesn't or the hooks doesn't they don't actually go to the very very bottom so make sure you're getting all those sugars that sometimes stick to the bottom make sure you're incorporating those into the dough as well I'll give it one more really good whip and then we'll add in all of the dry ingredients so you want to do this a little bit at a time I put it on the lowest setting in my blender and I just add everything in and again slowly if you were to dump all that in and the blades were going really quickly you would have a huge plume of flour it would be everywhere you would be wiping flour off of all the things for like months to come <laughs> ask me how I know that <laughs> So I buy our macadamia nuts at Costco. I put about two cups into a baggie and then I smash them with the flat side of my meat mallet. You can use a nut chopper or grinder, probably a little more civilized, but this is less cleanup and it works for me. I also like the different sized pieces. Thank you. 
We have a big jar of chocolate chips. It's a mix of semi-sweet and milk chocolate, but you can also mix in white chocolate chips, maybe white chocolate and milk chocolate, or maybe all three. That's what's so awesome about learning a base recipe because you can tweak it up and use ingredients that you love. I'll also share the Amazon links for my pans and then the silicone mats that I use. I've used them for many, many, many years and I absolutely love them. After I make the first batch or two of cookies, I always refrigerate the dough. It's the secret between crispier or softer cookies. I'll explain that in a minute. But it's also good to do if your family prefers warm cookies because you can make it ahead of time and then bake them when you're ready for them. This recipe makes about 48 up to 60 cookies. I'm using a one inch scooper here, but if you don't have a scooper, it's about three tablespoons of cookie dough. So how many batches you get out of the recipe depends on the size cookie ball you choose to go with. Here's the main difference between the refrigerated cookie dough and the right after you make the batter cookie dough. So this is the refrigerated cookie dough and you can see that the bottom is crisp and the top is very soft. That is the difference because these are gonna cook quicker on the bottom rather than cooking all the way on top as well. These are the ones that we cooked right after we made the batter. These were not refrigerated and they are hard all the way around, but they're still soft in the middle. So if you like a chewy cookie or a soft centered cookie, this is the way to go, refrigerate it, that's the key. If you like a crunchy or crispier cookie, if you make it right after you make the batter, that's how you get these. These are still very soft in the center, but these will be soft all the way through on top. It is all about preference and I love this cookie recipe. Obviously, you can substitute in any nut that you want. We use macadamia nuts here, but we've made them with pecans, we've made them with walnuts, so good. This base recipe is amazing. And then when you go in and you add in nuts, oh, that just takes it over the top. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you try this recipe and love it as much as we do. And if you do, be sure to leave a comment, send me a DM and Instagram, or better yet, tag me when you share your cookies and your stories. I would love that. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.